Dogs love it when we take them for a walk. Likewise, dog owners enjoy taking a step with their four-legged friends. But contrary to popular belief, walking a dog is an intricate process that involves some negotiations. This shows how far our relationships with dogs go. In diverse ways, the walk demonstrates the dominion that man has over other animals and their submission to the rule of man. Walking a dog also creates room for negotiation about the power in the relationship between man and his best friend, research shows. According to recent research, at every stage of our walk with dogs, we have to more or less negotiate on several things. Many people in the UK love pets. In about 40% of homes in the UK, you will find a domestic animal. And about 24% of households in the UK own a dog. A dog owner will cover a distance of over 23,500 miles walking a dog in its entire lifetime of nearly 13 years. But in spite of all this, little do we know how taking a walk with a dog and the places we go with our dog helps cement our friendship with the four-legged animals. The magic of walking your dog bold. We either walk to school or work, but walking means a lot. It is not just a movement. Taking a walk with a dog improves our mental health, but man and dog interact in many ways when walking around. Just like any other animal, a dog has feelings. Besides thinking and feeling, dogs also have their traits. It's essential to listen to dogs and to reason with them about the direction the walk is taking. Humans love to walk their dogs because they know it's not only beneficial to the health of their dogs, but it's also enjoyable to see their dogs having fun. Our research showed many people believe that dogs are happy when walking outside, and this is one way they can show how doggy they are. It's essential to bear in mind that not all people walk their dogs, but those we surveyed said they liked walking with their dogs. According to dog owners, the time, duration, and location of the walk depends on the dog's personality and the likes and dislikes of the dog. One lady who participated in the study said her dog needed a lot of walking because she had been rescued. She thought this was the right way of ensuring the life of her dog was okay. Also, with time, people do come to know the areas most preferred by their dogs. Other factors influence the walk. One is the way the owner perceives the walk. For instance, owners of larger breeds become uncomfortable when they encounter children, and this sometimes influences the step. Do you allow your dog to lead you? Bold. Actually, our research found that allowing a dog to walk freely without restrictions depends on how the owner interprets the dangers around. Most of the participants said they were always worried if the dog walks out of sight. But many saw this as an opportunity for the dog to enjoy its freedom. This being the case, many dog owners allow their dogs to roam freely in spite of their anxiety. On the contrary, one of the people who participated in our study took a walk with a greyhound. This dog breed likes chasing small animals. The owner had to choose between allowing the dog to move freely and the likelihood of the dog coming across a small animal. Considering these factors, we can see that the need to give dogs the freedom to walk around and enjoy the surroundings sometimes goes against the will of their owners to keep them safe. To balance the two, their two-way relationships must come into play. This can't be achieved in a day, but it's something that takes time. Walking your dog in fair weather, bold, the nature of your walk with your dog also depends on third parties. It is common for dog owners to come across other people walking their dogs they might take time to chat with each other. Their dogs also interact with one another. Many dog walkers prefer walking alone with their dogs. They may not like it when they come across other dog walkers. Our study showed busy participants preferred walking their dogs without being distracted. One of the participants preferred finding lonely places because he walked many dogs and wanted them to enjoy their freedom without interruption. And therefore for a walk to succeed, both man and his best friend need to accommodate the preferences of one another. Those they come across when on a walk also influence the direction of the step. For instance, our study found that regular dog walkers look down upon those who walk their dogs in particular days, especially those who walk their dogs only in fair weather or during weekends. 
Those who regularly walk their dogs can recognize those who are not committed to their four-legged friends. Those who pride in walking their dogs daily will most of the times form community groups. Those who are not regular dog walkers are not allowed to join these groups. Regular dog walkers knew each other and would mostly stop to chat with their counterparts. However, all these discussions were mainly centered on the well-being of their four-legged friends. In most cases, dog walking not only helps to improve the life of the dog but also that of the owner. It is, therefore, essential to know how far humans go to try and meet the needs and desires of their dogs. Walking might not mean much to us, but when we walk with our dogs, it demonstrates the bond between human and his best friend. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.